Hi and welcome to this how-to video on HPM's wireless door chime. This wireless door chime is easy to install, has a loudspeaker receiver and features a long signal ranging from 30 metres to 70 metres, depending on your model. I will now guide you through setting up your device and some basic functionality. First, place the supplied battery inside the bell press by lifting off the nameplate. Then, place three Type-C batteries into the loudspeaker receiver. Both the bell press and loudspeaker receiver should be operational. Before positioning the bell press to your wall, it is recommended to perform a test ensuring both devices are within range and functioning correctly. The loudspeaker can be positioned anywhere in the home or can be wall mounted with the supplied mounting screws. The bell press can be mounted with the included double-sided tape or screws. To change the ringtone, simply reposition the red jumper on the back of the bell press to options A or B. If the wireless door chime isn't working correctly, we'll now work through some basic troubleshooting. 1. The doorbell and receiver may not be in range. Try moving devices closer together. 2. If you have no sound or the red LED indicator on your bell press is off, the batteries may need replacing. 3. If your LED indicator is on, however there is no sound from the loudspeaker receiver when you press the bell chime, check the batteries inside the receiver. 4. If you're still experiencing issues, your doorbell may be experiencing frequency interference. To fix this, turn the two devices so their backs are facing you. Using a long nose plier, place a supplied jumper on the same row of pins on both devices. It is essential that the jumper positions are the same for both units. Now test the units to ensure correct operation. They should now be paired and working again. For more information, including instruction manuals, visit hpm.com.au. Thanks for joining us and choosing HPM, a brand of Legrand.